when you meditate, it counts as a meritorious activity. Like right now, you're focusing on the breath, watching the breath coming in and going out, then again and again and again, trying to stay right here, trying to develop some consistency in your mind. That's a good thing to do. The more consistent you can be in sticking to good intentions, the better your life will be as a whole. This is why we practice generosity, why we practice virtue, why we meditate, is to learn how to be consistently good. Then the power of that goodness will come back to us, and it helps people around us as well. The Johns talk a lot about making a determination when you do goodness, so you don't just fritter your merit away. For a lot of people say when they're generous, well, what they think about is, may I be wealthy in the future? There's a time when I was in India with a group of Thais. We were going to the different Buddhist holy spots. We stopped off in Sawati, went to Chetavana, and they have the foundations of what they claim to be the different huts, where the hut where the Buddha lived, the hut where Venerable Ananda, Venerable Sariputta, Mughalana, the famous disciples of the Buddha, had their huts. And the leader of the group would take us around each hut, and there would be a determination. Like with Sariputta, he was known for his wisdom, so we would make a determination, well, may we have wisdom in our future lifetimes. With Mokalana, his psychic powers, may we have psychic powers. And they finally got to two huts that were right next to each other. There was Mahakasapa on the one hand, and Siwali on the other. Mahakasapa is better known in the West. His outstanding characteristic was his asceticism and his concentration. As for Siwali, his outstanding characteristic was that among the Buddha's disciples, he was one who tended to get the most gifts from lay people. And the monk leading us in our determinations had a very short, short, short determination in front of Mahakasa and a very long one in front of Siwali's, of all the splendors of the wealth that would come from our generosity. But that's not necessarily a good thing. Wealth, power, beauty things that we value in the world, because if you don't have any discernment, they can turn around and bite you. So when you get good things like that, you want to have the wisdom to use them well. And this is why when the Buddha talked about determinations, the things he said to determine on were not wealth and power or beauty or influence. He said those are good things, but the things to make as a determination are one discernment, so that whatever good things you get, you learn how to use them well. Use them in a way that is for your long-term happiness, and not just for the short term. Then you have a quality of truthfulness that you really learn how to depend on yourself. When you make up your mind to do something good, you do it. Because if you can't depend on yourself, then who knows what's going to happen with your future lifetimes. Even your future in this lifetime, you want to learn how to make yourself a trustworthy person. Then there's the quality of relinquishment, the fact that when you get something good, you share it. That extends it out many, many times. There's a riddle I heard one time in Thailand. But how do you get to eat? You get to catch a fish, and how do you get to eat it all year? And the answer is, well, you share it with other people. And then they'll be willing to share it for you, for, with you, as they get things in the course of the year. So your generosity, your willingness to relinquish, should be something you don't just sit there and hope that we'll get a lot in return, but you hope that you continue to be generous with what you've got. And finally, calm. A lot of people with power and wealth just don't have enough. But when you realize you've got plenty, that you've got more than you need, and then you can focus on calming the mind, because that's where your real wealth is going to lie. So if you can determine on these things, then the goodness you've done will be aimed at a good purpose. It really will be conducive to long-term wealth and happiness, because otherwise we, we gain things in life and then we lose them. And we gain them again, we lose them again, again and again and again, up and up and down, up and down, up and down. So you want to make a determination that whatever good things you've got, you learn how to use them well, so you keep on going up, 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 and finally reach the, the peace of mind, the calm of mind, that the Buddha said was the highest goal possible. That's when your goodness is really safe.